Well, good morning, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. And it is Sunday, December 6th, the feast day of St. Nicholas. So happy St. Nick's Day. Um, and believe it or not, he is the patron saint of children. Go figure. Um, I believe he died on this day. Uh, let me double check. Ooh, I can't double check. I kind of closed the page. Um, either way, today's his feast day. And uh, he's also the patron saint of, of many other things besides besides children. <clears throat> but um, yeah, today's gospel is from Mark chapter 1, verses 1 through 8. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way. A voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. John the Baptist appeared in the desert, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. People of the whole Judean countryside and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. John was clothed in camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist. He fed on locusts and wild honey. And this is what he proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Okay, so we've got, uh, we've got the, the beginning of Mark. So this, we are just literally entering into Mark's gospel, which I believe Mark's gospel should be the next few Sundays, and really this whole um, this her this whole liturgical season, uh, as we're in year B, um, sorry, the liturgical year. But we we're talking about John John the Baptist um, and and how he's preparing for the public ministry of Jesus, and um, it's quite interesting. You know, if you a lot of us know about John the Baptist, but I think we tend to forget um, just the extraordinary example that he demonstrated of humility as well as hope as he was preparing for the coming of Christ. Because he, he prepared for Jesus and he got beheaded literally right before Jesus began his three-year ministry, public ministry. So John did all of this stuff. He had his own disciples. He was preaching the coming of Jesus. And kind of just, like I said, prepare the way. Um, but he wasn't able to see any of those effects um, because he was beheaded. Um, by, uh, I believe it was King Herod. Um, I have to go back. But um, he went and did all of, all of the work of God, uh, being the cousin of Jesus, um, without even being able to see any of it. So what, like I said, that's a great example of humility. Um, and also just humbling himself, saying that he's not even worthy to, sh to even loosen the thongs of his sandals um, because the one mightier than he, Jesus Christ, is coming after him. Um, so such, such humility from John the Baptist to humble himself um, of his ego and arrogance and pride that a lot of us fall victim to a lot. Um, and he just went ahead and, and just swallowed that. And, and he just became like this, this, this wonderful example what it means to, to truly follow the will of God um, to help build the kingdom. Um, so that is uh, that is something that we are we are called to do. So as we are in the second Sunday of Advent, um, meaning Christmas um, is another week closer. Um, that we are, what are we doing within our own lives to better prepare our hearts for heaven, and and what are we doing to better prepare our hearts for the coming of Jesus? You know as he's coming um, on Christmas Day, but then also whenever he comes at the end of our lives, because we're going to meet him again. We're going to meet him eventually. Um, whether if we die first or if it's his second coming first, we don't know when he's going to arrive. But what are we doing to better our hearts so that we're prepared um, to meet him um, with joy and not fear? Um, so there we go. Here's the challenge. Have a great Sunday, and God bless. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Spirit. Amen.